Greeting Slackers is September Man on this July 18th, 2017, and I'm over here on the New York Post with another article I want to share with you. And uh, this is about these dating sites help people with HIV and herpes find love by Christian Gullion. Hope I said that name right. It goes on to say here that having an STI can definitely complicate your love life. Case in point, more than 70% of men say they dump an HIV positive partner, according to a 2017 study by online doctor service, Dr. Ed. But dating sites such as HIVNet, a community for people living with HIV that launched in 2001, are trying to reduce the stigma. Quote, it was started for purely selfish reasons, the site's founder, Rick Burton, who is HIV positive, tells Vice. Quote, I thought it would last six months or a year. His community has led to others, such as positive singles for people with HIV and herpes and hope for people with herpes and other STIs. The site's interfaces resemble Tinder in all but one way. They also give users the option to reveal their particular diagnosis. These services are only for people with STIs, which has provided a refuge for daters looking to avoid stigma. On mainstream dating websites such as Plenty of Fish, 27-year-old Canadian John Anderson says he's faced rejection since contracting herpes, but he says he's found a safe space with these STI-friendly sites. Quote, the disclosure is stressful in the beginning, but then becomes almost empowering, Anderson tells Vice. You are with people who have been through exactly what you were going through and know exactly how you feel. It makes sending that first message to a girl much easier. And, you know, they say thanks to Craigslist and then Tinder that STIs and STDs are on the rise. And that's from hookup culture, people meeting up just for sex and, you know, friends with benefit situations. And everybody's bouncing around right now and, you know, bumping skin, swabbing fluids. And so it looks like for those people who have contracted and have been given the diagnosis of positivity or have had breakouts, this should probably be something that is a good thing because that's one thing that you don't see a lot of people reveal on traditional dating apps and dating sites is their status. And so if everyone's up front with one another and they know, hey, you have this, I have that, it sort of reduces that barrier of overcoming as he states here sending that first message are you someone out there who's been diagnosed with something that's an incurable is this a site and a service that you would use leave your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below and that's going to do it for this article in this video i'll catch you in the next one did you enjoy this video and find it informative subscribe to the slackers method and click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all the latest notifications for when I upload new videos.